Right now, we are following developing news in the East Bay. Alameda County Sheriff deputies chase two bank robbery suspects, and the suspect's car hits a teenager in San Lorenzo. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meback. And I'm Claudine Wong. Sheriff deputies say they're still looking for those two suspects. KTV's Jana Katsuyama joins us live from the scene with the very latest. Jana? Well, let me tell you, this has come as quite a shock for the people who live in this area. I want to pull away here so you can kind of see this neighborhood. And I'm going to have Tarek, our photographer, just kind of pan. This is a residential area where neighbors say there are a lot of families. And we're right at the intersection of Via Cordoba and Via Granada. Now, if you go back over towards this intersection, you can see where those hedges are. That is where the collision happened. We did have Sky Fox 2 up earlier in the day and you can see where they had an ambulance respond to the scene as quickly as possible. They said that there were um, there it was a young person who had non life threatening injuries. So that is some good news here in that they were taken to the hospital and it looks as though that person is expected to survive. But all of this started earlier at a bank nearby. They said that one of the suspects had gone in and demanded money. It appears that they left without getting money, but they got into a vehicle and then took off. And basically, uh, we understand that Sam, uh, Alameda County Sheriff's deputies then followed that car. We understand it's a blue uh, vehicle. They have not released a license plate at this point. But if you come back here live, you can see there's a lot of traffic on this street. A lot of the neighbors say many of the people use this as a major thoroughfare, almost like a highway going through here. And unfortunately, there was a young person who was hit right over there. We are trying to get more information from authorities. Uh, both the uh, CHP was here as well as Alameda County Sheriff's deputies, but certainly something that has shaken up people who live here in this neighborhood. Yeah, very scary, Jana. Certainly uh, glad that it sounds like this young person is going to be okay. How far is the bank from uh, where this crash happened and, and that chase? It and 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 who uh, do they know? How many suspects they still are looking for? Right now, they're looking for two suspects, they tell us. One of them, they had uh, somewhat of a good view of the person who went in, but they aren't quite sure about the second suspect. We are waiting for more details on that. It's a little bit difficult to know exactly how far it is or what route they took. Uh, at this point, the law enforcement officers have not told us exactly uh, where they went. So we are trying to get that information, but certainly scary for not just the neighborhood, but also the family family of this young teenager who was hit right here. All right. Thank you so much for those details. Jenna Katsayama reporting live for us tonight.